Hi, I'm Blaine with Andricus Technology. Today, we want to show you very briefly how to connect OBS Studio to YouTube Live for live streaming. So, if you'll take a look at my screen, what I have set up here is a simple OBS Studio setup. I've created two scenes, which you can see right in front of you. Uh, this one, scene number one, is the Angicus Torpedo, plugged right into my computer over OBS. And this one, scene two, uh, is actually a Sabre IP20X NDI connected over an NDI connection through our local area network. And once your live streaming setup is all ready to go, uh, and you've tested it <laughs> like that, what we do is we go over to the bottom right. <clears throat> First, we go into Settings and open up Settings. Then we find Stream. So I'm going to select Stream, and I'm going to go to Service. From Service, I have several options. Uh, OBS makes this quite easy to go to some of the major streaming options. I'm going to go to YouTube. Great. Once we're in YouTube, you can either connect your account directly, or you can use a Stream key, which is actually my preferred method. And what we're going to do here is it wants us to put in a stream key, which will come from YouTube. So we can click Get Stream Key, and it will open up a YouTube live stream from the YouTube Studio. We're already logged into the Angicus Technology uh, account, so it will just intelligently know to do that. Nothing too fancy there. Great, here we have connect streaming software to go live. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So here, stream key is what I want. I'm just going to take a look because I like to know what I'm getting into. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go back into OBS. And I'm going to paste that into there. And let's take a look. Great, that's correct. All right, so now OBS is loaded with the correct destination where to stream the video and YouTube is waiting for the video to come to it. So the next step is we go to the bottom right again, and we hit Start Streaming. This will take a few seconds to connect, and then on the bottom right, there is a little traffic light, red, yellow, green, to tell us how good our connection is. So that looks pretty good right now. So let's go into YouTube and take a look. Hey, look at that. It looks great. So. Now, live streaming from OBS is our video. So I can go back into OBS and uh, change which scene I'm looking at or run any other uh, changes that I want to make in my live streaming setup. And that's it. That's all there is to it. The process is very similar for Facebook, Twitch, and the other streaming services. And uh, right, it's great. So thanks for watching today. Have a good one.